Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Mercari. And today we're going to be unboxing a thread up DIY jewelry box. Um, yeah, I don't remember when I bought. Oh, I bought this February 22nd and it is coming from Mechanicsburg. So this is one from my stash just because I haven't been able to get my hands on one in a while. They are becoming harder and har they were already hard. Don't get me wrong, but it's like they're getting even harder to get. <laughs> um, okay. All right, guys, for some impressions. This was ordered on February 24th, and this one was $44. Now, this one I did pay shipping for, so it comes out to be like $43 or so. Okay, it's, there's two, oh no, there's more here, okay, there's, some bubbles. Take those out. And let's just remove this tissue that was, wasn't was really doing anything to begin with. Okay, this is funny. It's in like a Ziploc bag. Like one of the slider bags. That's interesting. Very interesting. Okay, this is our box. What do we think? What do we think? Um, let me turn my brightness down a tad while you guys look at that. Okay, this kind of looks like maybe Wine and Davis, maybe? I, I don't know. It's just gold tone mesh. Um, see some earrings. Oh, this is interesting. There's like this big glass pendant. Um, there's this cool, like, little cuff at the top. So, yeah, we have some cool stuff. I'm going to scoot you down really quickly. You may shake. I am sorry in advance. All right. And there we go. That is our box. Some mesh. Some mesh. And some more mesh. Well, this is a kind of cool look, little dangle. So there we go. That's our first impressions. Um, um, guys, do you see what I see right offhand? Like first thing I grab out of the box. Okay, we have a gold tone cuff bracelet. And if you don't know, that is the Tory Birch logo. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the Tory Burch logo. Um, I don't see markings on the inside, but it is a, a gold tone cuff bracelet. It has like a door knocker kind of look to it. Um, wow. <laughs> First thing we pull out and wow. Um, let's just dig in. Maybe that'll be my thumbnail. Oh, I don't have something. Okay, you know what? Let's dump. Let's just dump it in. Let's be careful with this glass thing, though. Let's take the glass thing out. And we'll dump the rest in here. Then let's get this. This is a evil eye glass. I don't really know what this is. I think maybe you hang it. Hmm. Not sure what to do with that. Okay. Next thing we have, this looks sterling. It is. This is nine to five. 
This is a 925 bracelet already. We're winning. We have Tory Burch and we have silver. <laughs> um, oh, it's removed. Okay, it comes right off. This, I guess maybe it's interchangeable maybe. But it is like some grapes and a wine glass. And it is stamped 925 right there. Um, don't see stamps on the bracelet, but it does look sterling to me, so. I would say the whole thing is awesome, awesome. Sterling silver. Love it. Let's pull out, let's just pull out some. Uh, for now, that's good. Oh, nope, there's another one. Okay. All these rings I'm going to put to the side. Rings, 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 rings. Rings, rings, rings. Oh, that's cool. Ring. Bracelet. Necklace. Okay. Now uh, that's a little ooh, this looks like sterling. Or maybe 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 not sterling, but it looks oh I don't know. Okay, let's just get started. Got some earrings, moving those off to the side. Let's do this charm bracelet. Kinda looks like Brighton to me. Net oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, looks like the, oh, there's that more. Huh. I think this is just fake Brighton. I think it's made to look like Brighton, but it, it has wear. It's not the greatest. I'm going to tilt you down a little bit more, actually, still. So, that's probably going to be craft. Okay, we have a Alex and Ani. Initial E. I'll list it. We have a Chico's watch, but it is bent slightly. I don't know if you both see that or not, but it is definitely bent slightly to like on an angle. Hmm. Well, here we have another stretch that is going to go straight to craft, even though I think this one actually might be Brighton. Nope, this is going to craft. Okay, we have a <clears throat> guys I don't want to get sick I feel like I'm starting to get I think it's because so I cut grass today and I have extremely bad allergies I get horrible horrible allergies and I would cut the grass and sure enough I'm starting to get the little sniffles so this is a little rhinestone gold tone believe brooch pretty like it we have a vintage bone. I think this actually is bone. I think that is a bone. So that's cool. Vintage brass, probably like a made in India kind of thing. That's cool. I like that. This looks like sterling. This is Mart. Nine two. This is Mark 925. It could be like citrine or it could, um, smoky quartz. Not quite sure what those stones are, but that's really pretty. I like it. And it is Mark Sterling. So, yay! Sterling! Again! Um, okay, this definitely is not sterling or gold. Um, it's just I love mustaches. Little locket. It's kind of funny though. I might list it just because it's cool. A really pretty earring. I hope we get the match to that. Um, earring. So, guys. I've been noticing I'm getting more and more single earrings in these thread-up boxes. I used used to be 
like every box like every earring would have a match like every earring it would be like you would always have matches now it's not like you're lucky if you get a couple matches this is really pretty blue um, with gold tone and rhinestones it's a really pretty stretch i like that but yeah it's becoming harder and harder first of all to get the boxes and then once you have the boxes they're not as good but i'm still gonna buy them you know even if they are really expensive i still really like these boxes we have a little elephant little double strand bracelet it's like gold tone super thin gold tone with little cord that's actually really cute this looks like Maybe sterling? You no, know, I don't think this is actually. At first, I thought it was, but I was like, nah. Looks more plastic, even silvery. Silvery. That's not even a word. <gasps> probably not, guys. Um, I'm sure this this video will probably be a couple weeks later. Um, but don't forget to go and check out the collab video I did with Nick and Zoila over at Loved and Found. And I'm filming all these videos in advance, so, um, because I will be going. I, when this video goes up, I will already be in Michigan. I will be in Michigan. I volunteer every year, um, at a youth camp. I help teach woodworking and help with crafts and that fun stuff. So I'm usually up there for about a month. That's right, guys, a month a long camp because we do it a couple weeks you know for everyone gets a chance to do it okay we have a nine to five earring yay hopefully we get the match i might have to pause you while i untangle this all right i am back i only untangled the stuff that we had out haven't looked at anything yet so we just have a gold tone fashion necklace it's very long with these circles with a rhinestone however it's in really good shape the only wear on it is that the clasp is turning copper so that's the only wear that i see on it everything else is really good shiny gold tone it's really pretty um next okay i was close it's not sterling but it is dun, 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 dun. Lucky brand. So it's probably silver plated. That's why I thought it was silver. Well, I probably thought it was silver just because of the pearl. If it's a real pearl, it's usually on sterling. Um, but it is a really cool smashed pearl. Baroque smashed pearl. Um, man, that lighting is so bright. This, I'm going to do this. I don't know. But it's really cool. It's silver tone, like antiqued with a pearl. It is double chain. These little gold bead stations. And yeah, it's Lucky Brand. I will definitely list that. Um, next is this. Um, I believe unbranded. Yeah, it's unbranded. It is unfortunately missing a rhinestone. However... All you have to do is take off this little middle layer, this like second strand, because it's a double strand. Take off that strand and boom. Now you have a really cute necklace. It has all kinds of charms on it. It is a tree of life, an owl, a little picture frame, a heart, and a little um, rhinestone. So all kinds of cute little charms on there. So yeah, just has to take that one leg um, strand off. Okay, we have a little... I believe these are faux. They're a good faux wall. They are a good faux pearl. I don't think they're real. They are gritty. They may be real pearls, I don't know. Okay, we have a express necklace but it is very tangled it looks like so i will have to untangle that when i have more time okay we have a little boho bib 
style. It is missing a two tassels, so womp womp. Okay, we have a seed bead statement tee collar necklace. It's like brass tone, antique brass tone, so well, I'm probably not going to list that. Okay, now we have all these rings. These are earrings. They go over here. Let's start with this one. Just silver tone with little marcasites. Really pretty. We have this one. I believe this one is just gold tone. Yep, no markings. Little hearts. All right. This one looks like sterling. Don't see any marks. I think it might be sterling, though. Maybe. Okay. Um, okay, we have this ring. Oh, this is marked. B J G China. B J G. I do not believe it's silver or anything, but it's interesting. Okay, we have this ring. Of all these rings, none of these are sterling. <laughs> This is not. This is just a costume ring, fashion ring. It's turning, so it's definitely not silver. Okay, we have this ring. Again, no marks, not sterling. There's got to be at least one sterling ring in here. It's really cute, though. Okay, this one was my favorite. Let's see. I really hope this one's sterling. It is not Mart. I do not think it's sterling either. I think it's just a cute costume fashion ring. It's really cute though. It's like this like textured detailing. It's like a raised rhinestone. That stinks. Um, I believe this is another costume fashion ring. Still cute though. This one kind of looks like Brighton to me. It's missing a rhinestone though. So either way, I think that's Brighton, but it's missing a rhinestone. Guys, <sighs> guys, this is why I keep buying these boxes. This is why I keep buying these boxes, guys. This is my third time getting this brand from ThreadUp. Can you read what that says? That says T and Co. And I I recognize this because I've had this on my wish list for forever. I've always wanted a Tiffany ring. Like I've always wanted one. But of course I would never pay full price or retail for it. Um in the inside it says Tiffany AG925. Now here's the real test. Does it fit? Uh, mm, well, not that finger, it doesn't. Let's try. <gasps> yes! Guys, this has, this is already my, my new favorite box because I've been wanting one of these rings for forever. And I now have a Tiffany ring. I already have two necklaces, but now I have a ring. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally shaking. It's a little snug, but I'll make it work for Tiffany. Wow. Awesome, awesome. I'm going to leave that on. Oh, I forgot to show off what I'm wearing. So I just got this this week. Um, it is a 925 Mexico Tax Co., Azulite, Azurite, Azurite. Um, this thing was not cheap. <laughs> I traded with someone for this, and I, but I had to have this. She wanted, I think, 64, and I was like, how about we trade? And we traded, and yeah, I love it. It's my new favorite. Okay, this I love. Is this something? 
it looks like it is not marked but it actually could be I think this may be gold over sterling I don't know but that's kind of cool to wear like mid mid finger like right before the knuckle kind of cool look at me all decked out in jewels okay then this is just complete costume garbage this little copper ring trash and this is interesting this looks like it's latronic this looks like a fitbit for your finger it is called the motive m-o-t-i-v i don't know if you will read that in there or not but it's it's marked motive hmm, i will have to do some comps on that never heard of it we're gonna put this in the test pile. Okay, now let's get some more. Wow. Guys, this box is already really good. It's interesting. I'm just gonna grab some stuff out of the jar. Oh, look, we have another ring. It's another fashion ring, unfortunately. It's cute though. Cute, cute, cute. This box is already a winner. I mean, I already got Tiffany out of it. So this box is already, like, <laughs> this box has already won. <laughs> um, little faux malachite earring. Doesn't look quite real, but we'll see. We have some gold. Oh, these are marked steel. I'll say are they gold. They are stainless steel. Gold. Big gold hoops. Look at them the size upon my hand. At least they're a match though. Okay, well this is broken. So this mesh broke this mesh necklace is craft. Okay. This kind of looks like coach. What is this marked? As artisan. Artisan. A-R-T-I-Z-A-N. Kind of looks like coach to me. With a little um the little locket, or is that Michael Kors that does the locket? I don't know, but it's marked Artisan. I feel like I've heard that before. I think it's a good brand. I don't know. I'll have I'll try and put something on the screen for you guys if I can remember. Um, look, this is another little locket. Yeah, I think this might be the same brand because I, I if I remember correctly, this is like their thing. This one's not marked, so I don't think it is. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have it on the corner if this is the same brand artisan. Cause I think it's a good brand. I'm pretty sure that's a good brand. Okay, then we have this Alex and Ani. It is a um, pearl in a clam shell or oyster. Oyster. It's pretty cool. I like that. I'll actually probably list the ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Guys. <laughs> this might be something, maybe. It's really tingled. But let's see what this bracelet is. This is really cool. Don't think it's silver, but it's just really cool. It is like ab dyed abalone shell little elephants. You see that? They're abalone shell elephants. I'm so sorry the lighting's so bad. Abalone shell elephants. Really pretty. I like that. I could probably list that. Let's do this like acrylic necklace. It is marked Chico's. So I will probably list this even though it's, you know, kind of dated. But people like this. I will take Chico's over no name any day. Chico's. We have a little stretch bracelet, little rhinestones. Okay, we have. Oh, is this marked? What is marked? This is a Ari or American Eagle Outfitters. 
A-E-O. I'll have to make sure, make sure, I will have to go over it and make sure all the rhinestones are there. But that's actually really cute. We'll probably list that. This is very interesting. I think this is homemade. But yeah, that is um quite the brooch. Quite the brooch. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, we have this. This, oh, let's see. Does this look like I can untangle it quickly? Probably not. I might have to pause you guys again. Just to untangle this. Does it say Ariel? Yeah, Ariel. A-R-I-E-L. No, Airy. No, Ariel. I don't know. Good grief. Someone did, oh, this looks like it may be silver. No, I don't think it is actually. Okay. I'm going to pause you guys while I untangle this. All right, guys. <laughs> okay, this was really, really a hot mess, but I got it untangled. We have a initial A necklace, just gold tone. We have a crucifix. Oh, the, well, the pendant came off the necklace, but it was a little crucifix. Pendant, not marked. Then we had this. Was marked. 95. And it is Ariel. So if anyone seems Ariel out there, got you a 95 necklace. Um, then we have a, we have two of the exact same necklace, but in different tones. So we have a silver tone and a gold tone, 925. CZ white sapphire. I'm not sure. Um, necklaces, and they are marked both marked 925 on the pendant itself, right there, and then also on the um, clasp and on the. Maybe it's just the clasp. Yeah, right there on the hook. So. Two 95, three 95 necklaces to add to the test pile. So awesome. All right, let's pull out some more. Look, another ring. It is super coppery, so that is definitely costume. Ooh, it looks like we got the other bird ring, um, earring. Let's see, where did it go? Oh, uh, yeah. Did we did? I love these. They look very Betsy Johnson to me. I don't know if that's who it made them or not, but to me they just look very Betsy Johnson. Definitely something she would do. Love. Okay, this feels like a real stone. Guys, right, so this might be the box of tangles. Okay, we have a stretch bracelet. Um, little rondelles and studded balls pretty cool um oh this matches the faux pearls i believe how did this get so tangled okay this goes with the faux pearls same ball bead yeah um ooh this is turquoise and it's 925. We have a 925 in turquoise stretch bracelet. Awesome. I'll put that on right now. That is definitely staying with me in my personal collection. I collect turquoise. Awesome. And it was stamped 925. We got the match to this earring. But this one's broken. I have to pause again to untangle, guys. This box has so... This is broken. Um, tangles in this box have been so bad, <laughs> but because of the, the tangles, I've gotten some really good stuff though. So I'll take the tangles if I keep getting, you know, Tiffany and 925, designer, branded, <laughs> I'll take anything. Are these hoops marked anything? I think we have the match. Nope. No markings. 
It may be silver, but I do have the match to those. We have a couple matches already, so nice. is really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, there we go. It is a little silver tone charm bracelet. Very nautical. Has some seashells. Let me drop you down a little bit more. Has some seashells and starfish and regular fish and seahorses and more fish and little shells it's really cute so that's interesting i don't see maker's marks not bad okay this looks like sterling I mean, it doesn't look like sterling, but I would think it would be if they put a real stone on it. Nope, it is not sterling. But that looks like a real stone. It's like a green agate or possibly jade stone. It's really cool. I like it. Okay, this is Mart. Teresa Goodall, but it's broken. I feel like she's a good brand though. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that brand before, but it is missing the pendant. The womp womp. elephant with its trunk up which you know means good luck they say a little antique brass okay i think this is all one necklace and if it is i'm not going to bother untangling it I believe this is all one necklace. I'm not even going to untangle it, but it, yeah, it's it's all one necklace. I'm like 99% sure. I don't see any maker's marks. Then we have this faux shell. It's like resin over shell. It's mix my ex couture couture mix couture. Um, I'll look it up. But um, we have a turquoise beaded necklace faux turquoise that is it's cute um but it's just fashion okay and then we have this very noisy necklace it is not marked or branded but it's it's okay not bad Fashion. Not much left in here. Sort really quickly. I take back what I said about no matches. It does look like we received quite... Oh, we have another ring. It does look like we received a lot of the mates. I don't know about all of them, but almost. Um, earrings. 
we have a stretch that broke. Oh, that's a ring. It's a pretty beat up ring, that's for sure. Stretch. Earring. Broken, broken, broken. Single. Oh, look, we have more rings. Awesome. Our bracelet. Look, we have another of that chain. And this is marked the same. Artisan. Artisan. This one has a little lightning bolt. So we have two, if not three, of these now. Artisan. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's a good brand. Something just fell on the floor. <gasps> Guys! I Oh, we got the match to the elephant. Oh, that's all. Awesome. God, I don't care. I don't want any of that. I just want this. I know what this is. Oh, we have another one of these mesh magnetic. This is a Pandora. I don't even have to open it to know this is a Pandora. I love this bracelet. If this fits me, I'm keeping it. I do have some Pandora charms, so. And a bracelet. Let's see if it's marked ALE. Fingers crossed. It is marked S925 ALE. I would say that is real. So Pandora Tiffany 925. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's see if it'll fit. It's a little tight. And by little, I mean it's very tight. I'll have to see if it fits without the other bracelets on. Because I have some other ones on right now. But awesome. Is that like a firework or a snowflake? I'm not sure, but it's gorgeous. 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 Okay, this kind of looks like 925. Guys! Guys, we have another Pandora. We have another Pandora bracelet. This is just like a little ball chain. And it is marked... Now, S925 ALE and then Pandora. Let's see that or not, but it's marked Pandora. What? Two Pandora bracelets in one box. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh, look, we got the matchy 925 earring. So those were 925. Let's put that in the test pile. Okay. What else do I have that I have not? Oh, this looks like maybe Kate Spade. I believe it is. I believe we have a Kate Spade earring, and though I do not see the match. We do. Let's see if this one's marked Kate Spade. I believe it is. I, I think that's the Kate Spade emblem in there. Um, Kate Spade earrings are sometimes marked with just a spade. And it looks like there's a spade right there. Right there. But because they're so dirty, I can't tell. But Kate Spade, possibly. Yay. Um, here those. This looks like little fun little locket but this looks like sterling it's a little link hmm let's throw in pile craft pile we have a little stretch bracelet that has all of it stretched on we have a little um elephant no one does this match the elephant earrings no they're a little bit different we have a little elephant necklace actually no i think that matches it but i can't tell who knows? I don't know. It's cute though. Um, okay, 
Okay, these are marked. Nothing. I thought they were marked, but I don't see the mark now. A little faux pearl. Okay, let's do this. We have stretch. We have three of these little stretch bracelets. Okay. Okay, we have a little fashion ring. We have another one's broken. This one's broken. Okay, we have this one that has a little angel on it. Okay. Um, we have this one that is a, ooh, is this gold or silver or anything? Nope, it is not. It is just a little moon and a faux turquoise. This one, nope, not either. It's a little textured, little hearts. We have a little um, arrow. I don't believe this one's marked either. Nope. Okay, this one is so pretty. This one is marked. This one is marked 925. 925. Little ring. Pretty. Put them in the test pile. Well, this is fashion. This kind of looks like sterling. Hmm. Kind of looks like coral. Kind of looks like sterling. I don't know. It's cool though. We have a bracelet that is like a snake skin with rhinestones. It's interesting. We have a clamper. We have a, another Alex and Ani, and this one says, today is an opportunity. Okay. We have a little fake Pandora bracelet. Yep, fake Pandora. We have a little fashion necklace. Okay, these look like G Crew. They are not marked, but they look like J. Crew or even Kate Spade, to be honest. Kate Spade has something very similar. Cute. Okay. I'm trying to go through all the little pieces. I think that's. Oh, nope. There's a couple more things left. Okay. I'm going to pause you really quick. Okay. We still have this little bit to go through. I forgot about it. So let's just move all of these. Oh, we have this too. Okay, so we have more. <gasps> um, this is a Chico's. This is a Chico's necklace. Some glass and acrylic beads. Some glass and more acrylic. It's pretty, I'll list that. Guys? Is that what I think that is? Is that what I think it is? <sighs> Guys. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys. I don't know what I did. <laughs> but I must have done something really good. <laughs> because... I have just been blessed, my hands are literally shaking, with, this one's marked, oh my gosh guys, this is an Elsa, Elsa Peretti made in Spain Tiffany necklace, it's, it's right here, Spain, Elsa Peretti. Guys, we just got another Tiffany necklace, or a, a Tiffany necklace. It says right on it, Tiffany and Co. Right there. It's hard to see it because it's. Where's my? Hold on. Where's my jewelry cloth? Okay. 
Oh, that tarnish came right off. Um, Tiffany pieces clean up really good, by the way. I have to say, their pieces are very high quality. But you're paying for that quality. If this is real, I am not letting this go. I love Tiffany. Okay. Look how much better that looks now. And it is marked Tiffany & Co. Right there. It says something else. Tiffany & Co. Elsa Peretti, Spain. Or 925 Spain. I do not think this is a knockoff. I don't think a knockoff would put Elsa Peretti's 925 Spain on here. I think this is real. Guys, we just got two Tiffany pieces. Two. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, this box is hands down probably my favorite box I've ever received. Ever. Like, ever. <laughs> we still have this. Oh, we have this. Stretched out stretch with white vertigree on it. Oh, look, we, it looks like we do have the match to that one earring. Oh, it just broke off. Watch this be Tiffany. <laughs> no, I don't see any marks on it. Oh, we got the match to it. Yeah, here it is. So we got a lot of matches. I am very pleasantly surprised. Very. These cute little Christmas trees. The only one that I don't see is this. Nope, we did. We got that one. Um, This one is the only one I do not see. And this is not even a earring. This is a little pen brooch. Okay, so what else do we have? This is it. Is there going to be more Tiffany in here? <laughs> it's not Tiffany. I don't want it. <laughs> Alright, we have a little multi-strand necklace. Let's see. It is what it is. Unmarked, unbranded. Alright, then we have this like... What is it called? Not raffia. Is it raffia? Material. It's like straw. It's not raffia. It's like a raffia um, wicker. I don't know what you would call it, but it's a necklace. That's pretty cool. I'm not marked, not branded. And then there's this owl necklace that another unmarked, not branded necklace and then whatever this is that's there's nothing else. I'm <laughs> just wanting to make sure there's no Tiffany in here um and that's just craft wow 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 Tiffany okay 925 turquoise Pandora Pandora 925 bracelet Tiffany, 925 ring, possibly 925 ring, 925 necklace, and 925 earrings. Where did the other earring go? There's two. Oh. Earring and possibly other ring. Oh, nope, that's not it. 925 and 925 and 925. So this is all... Can't even see it on frame. 
This is all sterling, possibly, hopefully, hopefully. Um, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything else. <laughs> so I almost didn't see that Tiffany. Um, but yeah, 925, 925, 925, 925, possibly 925, 925, 925, 925, 925. Like, all of this is 925. What is this? It's broken. And then we have to test this. Um, I do not have time to test. <laughs> it is um too late and the video is already too long. So I will try and put on the thing if it's real or not. But yeah, guys, that's it. That's the video. Um, this may be my absolute favorite unboxing I have done to date. I mean, I got two pieces of Tiffany. I mean you can't get much better than that so please like and comment um please like the video comment what your favorite piece was mine has to be the um tiffany ring and the tiffany necklace i mean i don't think i can choose between the two um and then third probably the, the turquoise stretch i love that and yeah the, i mean this pandora was absolutely gorgeous i don't think they would use real diamonds but Possibly, I don't know. Um, whatever the, these stones are. I'm going to have to invest in a Presidium. I, I really do. I really need to invest in a Presidium. And then hopefully these rings are sterling. Um, not marked that I can see, but hopefully. Wow, 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 wow. That's it, guys. Like I said, please leave a like, um, comment, and have a great day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.